Heightened violence this month and the city of Mobile has community members and law enforcement calling for change. The police have even rolled out a new operation to help combat the violence and they enacted it last Thursday. News 5's Allison Spann has the story. The month of October has been a hard one for Mobile with 13 homicides taking place in the city. The two most recent happening just this morning. The string of violence has people calling for police to take action. Last week at an anti-gun violence meeting, some even called for roadblocks to be brought back. If you look back when roadblocks were around, anybody that had something wrong to do had lots of worry. If they were going out to do anything mischievous, they thought. They thought twice. And anybody knows you don't get around roadblocks. And if you turn around to avoid the roadblock, one comes after you. Mobile police took that suggestion and did conduct a roadblock in the RV Taylor community last Thursday. The results from that are as follows. 15 citations, 13 misdemeanor charges, 12 felony charges, and three guns recovered. The violence is concerning to the community and to our police department. A lot of the guns are being obtained by pulling on unlocked car doors. Uh, and because we live in a gun culture in the South, you don't have to go through very many cars before you'll find a handgun. October's death toll has even prompted Mobile Police to roll out Operation City Heat, heightened enforcement and apprehension tactics. In a press release, Chief Barber said, we as a community cannot allow the senseless and indiscriminate violent gun crimes to continue. The Mobile Police Department is committed to removing guns that are in the hands of our youth and others that are forbidden by law from carrying firearms. Police announced they conducted a similar safety checkpoint on St. Stephen's Road over the weekend, but the results of that have not yet been released. In Mobile, Allison Spann, News 5. And News 5 is working to get those results of the latest safety check over the weekend, especially in light of the homicide.